Greetings friends around the world. This is Dr. Bob Teal for the Bible News Prophecy Channel. Today I'd like to talk about euthanasia. Some people call it mercy killing. Other people call it murder. Throughout the years, there have been people who protested this. They're opposed to lethal injections, whether it's for the pre-born or the unborn, in terms of abortion, or for those who are ill. What brought this particular subject to mind was that yesterday in New Zealand they voted to approve euthanasia. Let me read a little bit from an article concerning that. New Zealanders voted to legalize euthanasia in a binding referendum. With about 83% of the votes counted, New Zealanders emphatically endorsed the euthanasia measure with 65% voting in favor and 34% voting against. The euthanasia measure, which would also allow assisted suicide and takes effect in November 2021 would apply to adults with terminal illnesses are likely to die within six months and are enduring unbearable suffering. Other countries allow some form of euthanasia include the Netherlands, Luxembourg, Canada, Belgium, and Colombia. It's a victory for all New Zealand as we become more compassionate and humane society to lawmaker David Seymour of the Libertarian ACT Party. Thousands of New Zealanders who might have suffered excruciating deaths will have choice, dignity, control, and autonomy over their bodies protected by the rule of law. But John Kleinsman, an ethicist for the New Zealand Catholic Bishop, said the vote put vulnerable people on a dangerous path. He said the mere option of euthanasia would be a burden and pressure for many ailing people and their families as well as for healthcare and religious workers. He's correct that this is a wrong and dangerous path. You know, voting is supposed to show the will of the people, but in this case, you see the will of the people voting for something that's wrong, as far as murder goes. Now, I'd like to read a little bit of information about euthanasia. This was published in uh, Medical Principles and Practices. Active euthanasia involves the direct administration of a lethal substance to the patient by another party with merciful intent. Physician-assisted suicide refers to a medical professional aiding a patient in terminating their life upon the patient's request. So basically, what they call euthanasia is a form of intentional poisoning. We've seen increased media acceptance of euthanasia, but partially it also goes back to their acceptance of abortion. I'd like to actually read something that was published back in 1979-1980. Uh, uh, the abortion attitude is already being extended to newborn infants. Pro-abortionists themselves are becoming bolder in admitting the connection. Thus, Dr. Robert Christ, testifying before the Louisiana state legislator, said he was just as comfortable killing a newborn child a week old as a week before birth and that only lawyers haggle over this point of birth as having any special significance. The liberal pro-abortion new republic reflects the same attitude. The following words were taken from its July 2, 1977 editorial on abortion. The words accurately, accurately reflect the magazine's position. They also reflect just where the abortion attitude leads. Metaphysical arguments about the beginning of life are fruitless, but there is clearly no logical or moral distinction between a fetus and a young baby. Freely, free availability of abortion cannot be reasonably distinguished from euthanasia. Nevertheless, we are for it. It is too facile to say that human life is always sacred. Obviously, it's not. Well, the atheistic media is all about its own wants and desires. They don't understand God's plan. They don't care about abortion or life that way. They see no value in uh, allowing suffering uh, the way they view it. But you don't have to be in ignorance about God's plan. We have a, we have a book called uh, The Mystery of God's Plan. Why did God create anything? Why did God make you? Which goes into things such as suffering and why uh, there's a purpose behind it. But basically, you've got the Apostle Paul warned about people like this in 1 Thessalonians 4.13. 
They have no hope. These people who don't believe in God, don't understand God's plan, are totally happy to kill ill people, uh, kill babies. Uh, we actually did a, a Bible News Prophecy uh, message uh, on uh, American infanticide because various ones in the 21st century have also said it's just might as well kill a baby right after they're born as before they're born. It's just pretty much the same. A lot of leaders are leading their countries astray. And the Bible warns about such things. Let me read something from the book of Isaiah, chapter 3, verse 12. O my people, those who lead you cause you to err and destroy the ways of your paths. Now let's go to Isaiah 9, 16. For the leaders of this people cause them to err, and those who are led by them are destroyed therein. And then you've got people who don't actually do wrong things, but they have encouraged them, including leaders. And the Bible warns against that. In the New Testament, Romans chapter 1, verse 32, who, knowing the righteous judgment of God, that those who practice such things are deserving of death, not only do the same, but approve of those who practice them. And I should probably also point out that physician-assisted suicide is actually a violation of the Hippocratic Oath that medical doctors uh, used to take. Of course, it also was opposed to abortion. This is one of the reasons I don't like to do it anymore. But let's go into something about uh, ethics and uh, euthanasia. This is from, from Wikipedia. Code of Ethics. The most current version of the American Medical Association's Code of Ethics states that physician-assisted suicide is prohibited. It prohibits physician-assisted suicide because it's fundamentally incompatible with the physician's role as healer and because it would be difficult or impossible to control and would pose a serious societal risk. Hippocratic Oath. Some doctors remind that physician-assisted suicide is contrary to the Hippocratic Oath, which is the oath historically taken by a physician, it states, I will give no deadly medicine to anyone if asked, nor suggest any such counsel. The original oath, however, has been modified many times and contrary to popular belief, is not required by most medical, modern medical schools, nor confers any legal obligation on an individual who chooses to take it. There are also procedures prohibited by the Hippocratic Oath, which are in common practice today, such as abortion. Yes, both euthanasia and abortion are prohibited by the Hippocratic Oath. Physicians aren't supposed to be involved with killing babies or older people or ill people or whatever, but to assisting in the healing process. In Exodus 20, verse 13, the Bible says not to murder. This includes murdering oneself. I'd like to read a few things from the old Worldwide Church of God. Is suicide a crime? God commands, thou shalt not kill, the sixth commandment. Wester defines the word kill as to deprive of life. To commit suicide, then, is breaking one of the Ten Commandments, and is definitely condemned by God. Paul admonishes, saying, Know you not that you are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? If any man destroy the temple of God, him, God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple you are. What, know you not that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit which is in you, which you have of God, and you are not of your own? No murderer or suicide has eternal life abiding in him. He has no hope unless and until a general resurrection after the millennium he repents of his sin. So that was in plain truth back in uh, 1960 by the old radio church of God. Well, it became worldwide church of God for a time, so let me read something else. What about mercy killings, euthanasia, capital punishment, killing self-defense, taking revenge, just wars, abortions, killing of unborn infants, and suicide? God, the giver of life, has the right to take any life if and when he chooses, but man does not have that power unless God gives it to him. In a booklet about being, crime being stopped, the old Worldwide Church of God, through Ambassador College Publications, wrote, Subtle forms of murder include abortion and euthanasia. If both abortion and euthanasia are wrong, it tends to be the same people who often argue for both of those. Now, let me add that uh, refusing extreme medical interventions is not wrong. You don't have to allow 
machines to keep someone alive who would otherwise be, be dead. But that's not the same thing as going on and intentionally poisoning them. But Because uh, that's basically what euthanasia is, and it's wrong. In Isaiah chapter 58, verse 1, it says, Cry aloud, spare not, lift up your voice like a trumpet, tell my people their transgression, and the house of Jacob their sins. And increasing acceptance of euthanasia, legalized in various places, including some United States states, by the way, and this recent move by New Zealand and other moves by other countries, is simply wrong. Destruction and punishment is going to come to those who intentionally violate God's laws and don't have respect for humanity. God created humans with a, a grand purpose. This particular booklet that I held up is available at the ccg.org website, and we intend to also put a link there where you would have found this particular message. Don't go along with societal norms that now say euthanasia is fine, whether it's legal in your country or not. Don't support things like killing the unborn, which is the abortionist push. Believe the Bible, live according to God's word, and it will be well with you, because God does have a plan for you, as well as others, even those who think they have no hope. This is Dr. Bob Teal for the Bible News Prophecy Channel.